Hi guys, I'm Hello. Faith Fletcher. How's everyone today? Good, how are you? I'm good, I'm nervous. Don't be. Um, so today we're going to talk about making a good first impression. So how many of you wish you can rewind time and meet somebody all over again? Yeah, well, okay, well, I'm not talking about like a girlfriend boyfriend thing. I'm talking about like business wise. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, well, in the business world, some may not understand how crucial a first impression is. Um, today, you will learn how, to, how easy it is to create a notable, meaningful, and significant impact on your depiction. So we're going to discuss a few tips how to make a good first impression. So what tips can you guys give me? Let's see if you guys are going to figure out what I'm going to give you today. On how to make a good impression? Yeah, how to make a good impression? Smile. Smile. That's one of them. That's Posture. Posture. That's another one of them. Of course, that's another one of them. Handshake? Well, uh, it's part of it, but good Handshake? personal hygiene. Handshake. Good, but that's not one of them. Uh, Grooming, personal. Yeah. Mm. Well, oh, that's like hygiene. Saying the right thing or not saying something in that Wow, that's really good. <laughs> I feel like I should have added that. <laughs> You want to know your audience, do some kind of like research, just like she was saying in the last one. Find out a little bit about their culture or the whatever, whatever might bother them that you know ahead of time. Absolutely. Like what not to do around them. Right. To, you know, by doing research and just sort of. Yeah, that's part of it. But of when we get to it, you're gonna see how I can connect it to what you definitely just said. Yeah. Listening to somebody. Yes, very important. So thanks for thanks for that, guys. Oh wait, no, I left it on. It's dressing appropriately. Dressing appropriately, important. <laughs> okay. So um, everything the guy said was very true, but we're gonna focus on the uh, your approach, which is has to do with you know um, smiling, handshake, things of that nature, listening. Um, we're gonna discuss how to make connections, um, manners, and ending on a good note. your energy says a lot about you. It's important to also um, keep eye contact with somebody. If you're looking down, if you're meeting someone, can I? Guys, this is my friend Talia. <laughs> hey, bro. Okay, so if I'm meeting you for the first time and I'm smiling at you, I'm making her feel comfortable. I'm making her feel as though she can trust me. And when I'm making eye contact with you, this means that I'm paying attention to exactly what she's saying. That's to show that she's important. So I'm not going to walk up to you. Where is Oh. Okay, so if I walk up to you and I'm like this, and I'm just looking all around, do you see how bad that looks? <laughs> that looks awful, and you wouldn't want to speak to me after that. I would seem completely uninterested. Body language. So body language has a lot to do with your posture, how you walk up to somebody. Now, you don't want to like walk up aggressively, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. Okay, and you also want to make sure you always remember to relax. Because when you relax, like, it shows that for example, let me just demonstrate it. Hi, I'm Faith. Nice to meet you. I look nuts. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't want. I wouldn't want to do. Wouldn't want to speak. You wouldn't want to speak to anybody like that. So we ran through approach: relax, your body language, your smile, and eye contact. So the next step is listening. So when you're meeting somebody for the first time, it's very important to know first who they are. You want to know who they are because this is what can keep the conversation going. Especially if you're meeting somebody potentially that you want to go into business with or you want to get a job from them. You want to make sure you know who they are because when you realize who they are, you understand what they want. What they accomplish may be what they're looking for in somebody else. What is their title? So if I'm meeting... No, I'm scared. Okay. So if I'm meeting Thalia for the first time and 
she's my superior. She might be a manager, but for example, she might not be in HR. So if I'm if I'm going into um, to meeting um, Salia and she's a manager, I'm walking up to her and I'm giving her a good first impression. I'm letting her know right off the bat what I can bring to the job or what I'm really good at, what are my strengths, what I can do for the job as a, as a part of me as an, in an organization. As, so this differs if, for example, if she's in HR and I'm walking up to you, it would be more of a calm conversation. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're looking for two different things. Next is what is important to them. You can tell what's important to them from knowing these last two questions. Making connections. Sharing similarities and making a connection in a conversation could like take a conversation from, you know, you meeting somebody for the first time to you potentially becoming their friend. In the last class I was in, we had a networking event and we were supposed to like, you know, mingle with our peers. I met this girl, her name was Maddie, and I ended up finding out she went to school in New York City. That was the first connection we made. I'm from Brooklyn. So from going up to her like, oh, what's your name? Oh, my name is Faith. Oh, where'd you go to school? I used to go to school in the city. Oh, wow, I'm from the, ci I'm from the city. Um, what part of the city are you from? I'm from Brooklyn. Right now I have her number. Now we're planning to meet each other up for spring break. Imagine that in a business, that's, that's perfect. That's how you network. So you want someone to make the conversation into spending. You don't want to make the, uh, the person that you're speaking with feel like they're talking too much, and but you don't want to feel like they're talking their head off either. You want to make sure it's also a given thing. Manners. So we're going to do a firm handshake, and I'm not going to lie, I've had some problems with this at first because, you know, I have baby hands. <laughs> so you want to give a firm handshake, but you don't want to go too hard. You don't want to break the arm. You're also going to remember their suffix. You don't want to talk. Hey, what's your name? Talia. Hi, Talia. That, some people might think that's kind of like rude, you know? Hi, Miss Talia. Or Talia. You know what I'm saying? It shows respect. Even if they're more comfortable with being called Talia, you let them initiate it, you know? It shows that you do want to be as respectful as you can be. And also, remembering please and thank you will take you a long way. So it's also important for thanking them for their time and conversation. A lot of people don't do this, and it's easy, it's easy to forget it, but when you do do it, it's, it's really, it makes people appreciate you, as well as you letting them know that you appreciate them. It's personable. And that's what's also very important. Me, I have a very fun personality. It matches like who I am. I'm really tiny, like I'm fun. So I try and bring that to whoever I'm going to meet. Even in a business interaction, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be like, hey, boo, to somebody I'm meeting for the first time. <laughs> However, I do want them to know that I am personal. I am full of fun, but I can also get the job done as well. And lastly, you also want to make your exit polite and graceful. It was nice meeting you, Miss Talia. I hope you can stay in touch. So now I'm going to give out a few handouts. Don't get scared. But. These are blank handouts. So I want to see what you guys can remember and also what you guys can demonstrate to me from what I demonstrated to you guys. It's okay to work with somebody as well.